Hello everyone, it's Leslie from Hungry Heffy Crafts and welcome to another Hungry Heffy Crafts video. This card is called Spread Happiness. It's actually a little Bon Voyage card. And today I'm working with some Lawn Fawn, some Mama Elephant and a little bit of Mama, a little bit of my favorite things as well. I first of all got the Lawn Fawn stitched cloud backdrop. And I've also used some sort of a minty, like a pastel green colored cardstock to cut out two grassy hills, which is from the Lawn Fawn Grassy Hillside pop-up die. I've prepared some little critters and little um, images for my card today. The little snails and mushroom is from Lawn Fawn's Gleeful Gardens. And then the little flowers are from MFT. Those are the stitched flowers dynamics. Now I've colored them off camera while I was out sipping a latte at Costco. No, not Costco, Starbucks. And because they've got some shading in them, I thought that I would add a little bit of shading to the grass as well. So I used Mode Lawn Distress Ink to do that. And first and foremost, I'm going to stick down this little piece to my card base. Now there is a notch cut out of this because it's supposed to go on the pop-up die, but that's okay because by the time my card is finished, you won't actually be able to see that little notch at all. I've also grabbed a banner die that I had in my stash and I'm going to cut out this banner shape into my backdrop, which will allow me to stamp my background onto the front of a card blank and it will be a nice smooth surface for my greeting. I'm using a sentiment from Mama Elephant's Up and Away stamp set and because I'm putting this in my Misty I can line it up exactly in the middle of that little banner aperture. Pick up the stamp with the lid of my Misty and then stamp that right onto the front of my card blank and it will be perfectly positioned when I lay my cloudy backdrop on top it's in exactly the right place. Now I want to create a shaker card so I grabbed two rectangle dies. These are Lawn Fawn's large stitch rectangle die and small stitch rectangle die and I need to cut out a frame so that I can then build my shaker. I also use that large rectangle to cut out a piece of acetate and I'll peel back the film. Some of this acetate has got this protective film on it and it took me a while to figure that out actually. Um, but I know now. <laughs> I'm going to stick the acetate onto my frame and I'm using this red double-sided sticky tape because it sticks real good. It is not going to go anywhere. So I'll stick down my acetate and it's ready for my card. Now I didn't want any of my sequins falling down into this area through the sentiment aperture. So before I adhere my cloudy backdrop onto my card front, I'm going to stick a piece of acetate behind this section. So now let's add a little bit of my ATG gun around my sentiment and stick down this front panel using my Misty to make sure that it's perfectly aligned. Now I need to add some foam tape around my frame so that there's enough room for all of my sequins and beads to move around. This is a three mil foam tape and I find that it's perfect for shaker cards. It's thick enough that I only need one layer of tape, which saves me a lot of time. And I used a craft knife to, to slice it into thinner strips so that it would fit around my skinny border. For my shaky bits, I'm using some clear seed beads also some silver stars and some of this beautiful colored sequin mix from Lucy's Little Things. I'll also use my Misty to help me get my frame perfectly positioned right on top. Now I wanna make sure that all of the frame is stuck down really well. So I'm taking my foam mat off my Misty, placing it on top and closing the lid, giving it a 
good push down. And that just helps make sure that all of the adhesive is stuck real good down there. None of my sequins are going to get trapped behind it. Let's put my grass on top. And now the fun bit where we get to stick on all of my colored in elements. So my original idea for this card was this is Dada and Mama Snail. And then there's a little baby snail going off to adventure through the world. But I wanted to add some flowers. So these flowers are from MFT, the Stitched, Stitched Flower Dynamics. And I'm adding some colorless blender, my Copic colorless blender to the edges. And then coming in just with the tip of an R00. And that gives the edges a real subtle pink tint almost like a real daisy. Likewise, I'm adding a little bit of yellow to the center and then sticking these onto my card. This bigger one I'll put over on the right just to make sure that we won't see that notch in the far back grassy hillside. So let's adhere this one just behind the grass and then stick my little cute snail on here. And there we go, shaker is complete. Woohoo! Another one bites the dust, woo! <laughs> Here's a close up so you can have a little look at the pictures in more detail. Thank you so much for watching this video. Here's some more videos that you may like. If you haven't already, please subscribe to make sure that you don't miss any of my other videos as soon as they're released. You can also leave me a like and a comment down here and don't forget to follow me on social media at Hungry Heffy. I'll see you there. Have a great day and happy crafting. Bye.